Now for Shackler's Secrets. With the city conquered, you discover a secret area beyond the city that appears to house Shackler's secret projects. Okay, they have a real rush force. Some big tanky dudes. 10,000 points. Actually, pretty good. I think as long as we can put some stuff that will hold them up on the front line, uh, we should be okay. Wow, we can actually afford some real good units, like, like an Artemis. And I just want people to tie the enemy up as much as possible. Uh, the clubbers might be terrible because Zeus is here and he will kill them off super quickly. Also, is the horse just going to get killed by the boat? Oh my god, he got super tackled. But Artemis kind of going to town already. Wow, it is carnage everywhere. Okay, we need to get rid of Zeus super fast. Ah, oh, the guys did a good job. They turned the knight. Uh-oh, maybe not enough. Okay. Right, the giant is a problem, and Zeus is a big problem. Zeus is more likely to kill us than the giant. Is that giant even going to go down? Uh, oh, he did! And Zeus is not super tanky. Oh! <gasps> Oh, Artemis, you carried it. Look at you, you badass. What a power pose. You discover another secret area of Shakla that promises to hold information on the surrounding kingdoms. But the inhabitants of the temple show no interest in giving up this information willingly. A 5,000 bucks is not a lot of bucks, but it is enough for two elephants and a ninja. The ninja's going to be back a bit because I hope, I just don't want him to get pull aggro. Oh, there's secret flamethrowers. One of the elephants just fell over because I placed him really badly. Uh, maybe this will work. Oh, God, my ninja's already dead. And, wow, both the guys. Oh, I guess they had a monkey king. Okay, did not spot that monkey king. We've not done many, like, spike formations. Like, they could be good. And... Snake archers at the back. Oh, look, there's like a little baby, baby snake archer. Sure, let's just like kind of see how that's going to work. I feel like the hole might cause us problems. But, oh yeah, fireworks as well. Okay, our big, big formation, probably pretty terrible. Oh, there's a monkey king in from the, the flank. Okay, the, the spikos are dead. The snakes, the snakes will fall soon after. Right. Spikos, you're out of here. So the snakes, they always feel so powerful when they're used against you. But when you're using them against the enemy, they just feel like trash. Like, I'd rather ditch them all and use my trademark ballista. I just love it. It's just so much fun. We just need to make sure that the enemy doesn't get into, into this anytime soon. Because if we can spot the Monkey King soon enough... Uh... Oh god, you've got to take out that Valkyrie. Good shooting. Oh shit, that archer's got us. Oh guys. Just just run. Oh. Okay, right. Maybe a slightly less aggressive front line. Instead, what about 40 halflings? I just wanna wanna really like really just take their time killing those dudes. Wow, the halflings are already dead. We need something tankier, for sure. But what? Okay. Ballista doing great. If, if it can get the Monkey King before he gets close. Oh my god, it's doing it! Wait, wait, don't advance, please. They've got stuff that is really fast. Oh, you're doing such good work. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? I feel like I'm, I'm taking control there. And is there one? Still a dude back there? Who's left? Slow and steady wins the race. What's going on? Are you, are you alive? Where are you shooting at, Mr. Ballista? Oh, you. Okay, we'll we'll give them some help, because I feel like this is going to take forever otherwise. And... Blam! <laughs> we got him. 
You learn from the temple that there's a powerful nation to the north that holds many secrets of warfare. However, along the way, you're ambushed by barbaric creatures that know nothing but aggression. 1600 bucks. They've got shields, bone boys, rock guy, a little bit of everything. Uh, how many points was the knight? 1800. Shit. So most of these guys don't have armor. The shields are a problem. But if we come, like, extreme flank, and then we just have some people just, like, causing some causing some beef in the middle, like a load of halflings. I'm hoping... Yeah, the halflings pull the aggro. Oh, those surprise guys in the woods. Shit, I did not even spot them. Well, that undoes my plan pretty badly. Uh, unless someone can get him in the back. Okay, good. Okay, you've got to you've got to arrow this guy. He's gonna launch a spear at you imminently. Uh. Oh shit! Ooh, pal, they got him. Oh, and he used their shields against them. That is good thinking, boys. Okay, we've definitely got the range with the arrows. Uh, those shields are gonna cause us issues. Oh no, that guy's blocking with his rock. Ooh. Okay, wow. Do they thread the needle and- Oh no, chieftains. Okay, right. I feel like we can make this work better. We have to be careful of the sneaky, like, flank patrol. It's just better to have, like, the crossbows. I feel like they just fire so much faster. Let's just see how, like, that works. Uh, oh god, yeah, the bone mage really, really kills our guys. Hmm. Yeah, this, this feels much worse. Ooh. Okay, they're doing good dodging the spears. Oh, not not as good as I was hoping. Oh, you really have your, your day cut out for you. Ooh. Wow. Okay. No no good. I, I kind of liked using the actual archers. We just need to be a bit more coy with them. And, like, space out the halflings more. Just so the Bone Mage doesn't get, like, the sort of big insta-kill. Okay, that feels maybe like a better formation. Because as long as those arrows get in, they can still, like, try and thin out the, like, the weakened crowds. Uh, you know, generally not too many shields. Uh-oh, how's, like, the border, border patrol going? Okay, halflings all but dead. Okay, the arrows are doing okay. Oh god, where they where they throw stuff back. Terrifying. Oh, I don't think four archers are gonna be able to pull this. <gasps> Half thing survived! Uh oh Okay, bright. New strats. How's this look? Uh It kind of feels like Ula can do this. Okay, the bow mage is out. Uh, the spear throwers are actually going to be really bad because they do so much damage. So it's the rock thrower. Ooh, Ula, get up. Oh god, if too many of those hit. Okay, you have to thin these ranks. Nice. I feel like you can take two spear hits. <gasps> oh, that spear was coming at you. Man, Ula just kind of gets us out of any difficult situation. Now time for a brief ad break. Wow, these troops sure are getting up to mischief. I hope they don't distract anyone from their work today. Never fear, you can show your support with the new Angori Tom piece of merch. It's this, a t-shirt. Wow, what a great guy. Let's return back to the regular video. As you endure cold, you as a hobbit have never felt before, an army discovers you. This reaffirms you're on the right track. Okay, just a whole big old horde of Norse. Um... Some distractions and some shooties. That sounds like a sort of fun, fun way to play this out. A bunch of archers at the back. Hopefully the Valkyries don't get into them. And then we just need some like sort of tanky stuff right up front. Like we could fight fire with fire and get some brawlers in here. And then just tons of halflings. Uh, but the Valkyries are sort of in where we're hoping for them to be. That boat is going to super annihilate. Uh, not too many guys. 
okay, can we kill the Berserkers and the Valkyries before they make it into the Archers? It's looking okay. There are still Valkyries living. Oh no, and Headbutt is there fast as well. Okay, we're done for. The, the lines have fallen. Oh shit. Maybe. Maybe this could work. Ah, oh, you shot your friend! Oh shit, headbutter. Wow, this is actually... Not going super well, but better than expected. Oh, that headbutter has just pulled our guys apart. Oh, he took an ice arrow for them though. Oh, but that, that Yarl, I feel like he's going to out-tank the few remaining bows. Oh, oh! It's you versus five. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't pan out very well. Maybe we just get more hobbits. Like, I feel like just the more halflings, the better. Uh, we've got to kill, you know, their fast troops as quickly as possible. But hopefully the halflings just create a big enough distraction. Okay, there are Valkyries still, still hanging out, but, oh man, this is looking really good. I wonder if the, like, the map maker actually planned this to be really, really good for halflings to win. That actually taking just a ton of halflings is the answer. Because most levels that we use them, they've done pretty well. Oh, okay. All the halflings are dead, but our gun line just finished them off. Wow, good work. As you continue your trek through the frozen wastelands, a horde of enemies march towards you. Uh, they have with them a secret weapon you've never seen before. Their secret weapon, is it the world's tiniest berserker? Maybe. Is there something like hidden in the trees? Okay, right, shields, shields are bad. Um, we could get like three monkey kings. They could be pretty strong. And... Jeez, what do we want after that? Uh, Valkyries? And then just some halflings. Because <laughs> they... Like, as long as the, the monkey kings are sort of going... Uh-oh. Oh, there is an Ula in the middle of there somewhere. Where's he hiding? Oh, there he is. Wow, how did I just not spot him before? Okay, he's actually pretty good against the old Monkey King. Uh, because his AoE freezes all of the illusions. Oh, jeez, okay, that's that's really bad. Just already I know this is going to be a tough one. And so, you know what time it is. That's right, it's time to bring out the Ballista Squad. Wait, maybe we can even take control of it. Man, it's really hard to aim into that snow. Oh, I think we got Ula. Okay, right. I'm going to leave it to its own devices now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Go Ballista. I know it's like a crutch, and I rely on him too often. But he's my, my best friend. Fuck off. Among the blistering cold, you stumble across a temple. Nearly identical to the one you found before. Inside, you discovered the technology you've come all this way to find. Okay, 9,000 points. They've got Valkyries, they've got Jarls, Ninjas. There is an Ula back there. Uh, how good is just, like, that many Valkyries? Oh, they've got dragons as well. They've got tons of good stuff. Maybe we shouldn't have grouped everyone up quite as much because... Oh, shit, the Valkyries. I can't believe they're falling to their death. That's no good. Okay, right. They're really causing a lot of carnage, but not actually killing. I think we need to, like, spread them out a bit. And if someone can snipe Ula, that'd be great. Shit, they all fell in the hole again. Guys. It's like 2,000 points of Valkyries just down the drain. Okay, the Valkyrie plan is awful. <laughs> it's so bad. What about Berserkers? Like, although a good Ula into them is going to do just tons of damage. And, uh, Halflings. And maybe like a couple of couple of ranged? Like some shooty boys? Uh, sure. A Jester. Why not? We never really use Jesters. 
Uh, mainly because I don't really know what they do. They kind of like dodge a bit. Uh oh, snakes. Snakes are bad for my, my gun line. Uh, the fights are going... Not great. Um... Oh no, the... Oh wait, can you... If you reload and kill that ninja, very good. If you fail, very disappointing. Good job! How's your buddy doing? Wow, he cleared out this side. Okay, Ula definitely outranges you, friend. Wait, can we fucking try and trick this? Oh shit, a snake! Oh, fuck. Maybe they could have had it. Maybe it was me that ruined that for them. Right, I kind of think we just ditch the middle. Uh, put some shields there or something. And just focus on these, like, side bits. Try and win those, because we just get annihilated. Okay, right. Oh, I like that their... Their berserkers instantly killed themselves. Right, we've sort of taken over both flank pretty effectively. Uh, not too many of our guys are falling in the hole. Uh, Ula has a great defensive spot, though. Oh, man, he fights so quickly. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We need, like, just longer range. We need, we need like, Artie to take him out. Yeah, that's over. I felt really good, but him with the, the cheerleader, really bad. I just want to try something. What about one of these guys with a cheerleader? Each flank. How killy are they? Okay, right. How fast are these guys going to start firing? Uh, okay, the fights are not looking great. Hmm, that Ula. Oh, is doing the business. God, they really have to ambush that Ula so quickly. Wow, you are not accurate when you're firing full, full tilt. Okay, the cheerleader's down. Oh, the two guys versus Ula. He froze himself. You have one volley. Oh. Oh, oh my God. All of those shots they dodged. And they fucking got him in his throwing arm. Wow. What a hero. What a hero! I appreciate you playing through my campaign, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I've devised a challenging final battle of some of my favourite units and strats in the game. It may be a PC destroyer, and uh, might be to be run in slow motion. Oh, jeez, okay. So, let's see some of their favourite units slash strats. Uh, spear Chuckers, Spear Boys, a Valkyrie, very good. A ton of Hobbits, perfect. Spiky Boys, wow, there's just like a real mix of everything. An Ula, uh, ooh, the Sensei, and a Ballista. Wow, the Ballista with a cheerleader. Okay, this, this seems fine. So, they're using their favourite strats, and I feel like it's only fair for me to use my favourite strats. How does that sound? And exactly what we're going to do, Minotaurs. That's right, my favorite strat, tons of Minotaurs. Uh, I can't imagine this is gonna work because, oh geez, the blob of Minotaurs all getting Ulurd is definitely not what you want. Wow, that carnage. Oh, this is definitely gonna go very poorly. Uh, we really need to deal with that Ballista because this thing is going to dink a Minotaur in every shot. Oh, listen to the sinew. Ooh! Ouch. Yeah, the ballistas, man. Wow. Okay. Turns out... Terrible build. Oh my god, look at the... The darts coming out of that boy. Okay, yeah, I'm joking. Of course I'm joking about Minotaurs. Who, when have I ever used Minotaurs? Three ballistas. Is more cheerleaders more good? And then we are just gonna fill it up with a whole load of hobbits. Uh, we don't even need to spend all the points. I could have got another another load of blisters. But I feel like this is gonna be... This is the strat. The blisters are far enough back that they should... Ooh. Pow! Wow, they kind of missed everything. That's not so good. 
Now there's so much bloom on this map. Jeez, you can't see anything. Okay, the Ula really needs to go. Wow, that knight got annihilated. The hobbits are basically dead. Uh, the moment just regular folks can fire at my ballistas is going to be a bad day. Wow, the chariot is just really going for it. I think we need more chard on our front line if these ballistas are going to be able to spool up enough. There are still some halflings left. Maybe if we had a giant up there. That'd be pretty good. Uh, Ula probably has killed more of his own guys than, uh, than I have. Oh god, that chariot's actually going to cause us a lot of problems. Oh! Do you see that threading of the needle? Okay. It's looking good. But we do need to kill their ballista super fast. Wow. Okay, that Ula, he's bad. But I think we should... Honestly, this could go either way. Oh, man. But when they're, like, doing the slow advance straight towards us, we are really strong against them. Oh, jeez, the frozen samurai. He's having a, a terrible day. Okay, one ballista's down. I think it got ballistered. Oh, another one's going to fall to this. Unless it shoots the cheerleader. <gasps> the cheerleader, you tanked it. Wow, you dodged it. Okay, you are cheerleading in completely the wrong slot. Oh my god, have we just cheesed this? We didn't even spend all the points. Although that their blister could still do it. And this guy doing the old <laughs> wonky spear. Yeah. Blammo! Favourite strat versus favourite strat. Good job, everybody. You know what? That was an amazing campaign. Uh, they also stream on Twitch TV, Atom Night One. Holy shit, go and check them out. That was a really cool campaign. A lot of fun. Actually, some pretty tough battles. A lot of these battles, really easy. But this one really made you think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, see ya! Oh, hello, it's me, a ballista. Wow, what a power gaming strat. Tom really relies on us a lot. Just like he relies on you hitting that like button. Don't forget to do that. It really helps. Maybe put a comment below. Also, if you've made your own campaign, send it to him. He would love to play it. Uh, it, it would be great. He really enjoys that stuff. Anyway, oh, also make sure uh, it's a little bit ballista proof. Otherwise, we'll just be there the whole time. Until next time, everybody. See ya.